starting to see those lights off in the distance. That is Grand Cayman Island. Good morning, everyone. Happy Tuesday, March 5th. We are seeing the island over there, and I think we'll be docking around 7. I'm not sure where the big island starts and where the little island ends, because there's two here at Grand Cayman, or at Cayman Islands. And I think we'll be docking soon. We need to go down and eat breakfast and then get our boarding pass so we can see what time we'll be getting off the ship today. And the sunrise rose in front of us this morning. Last time it was behind us. It's time in front of us. The water looks blue. And it's really warm out, but very windy because we're still going pretty fast. But that's the island we'll be adventuring on today. And we'll see where it takes us. Uh, until then, we ask you to remain uh, on the waiting areas of like deck 5 or deck 10 uh, as they might be bouncing back and forth. A beautiful day for adventure. We're moving. We're moving? Yeah. So we're not docked? So we're turning. Yeah, but you sure it's not just us bobbing in the water? I think we're turning, turning. How warm do you think the water's gonna be? I think it's gonna be cold. But this is Grand Cayman, I guess. I like that. There's some high rise. So that's the little island there, right? Because we should be. We gotta look at the map. If the map is on. Where? Oh, out there. Who do you think it is? So here's everything. There's restrooms and stuff that way. Not really, I can see it. That's cool. I'll take my picture in front of that. So what's this called? Royal Pacific Beach, Royal Palms Beach Club? Can I take my picture? Oh yeah. Look at the parasailers. There's a bar. I guess this is nice for two bucks. Yeah, but it's filled with beach chairs. I'm not buying a beach chair. Down there, there's open spots. Do you want to change shoes first? Okay, let's change shoes. Got a spot on the beach. The chairs cost a lot here, $12 a person, so we decided just to camp out here. The water's pretty cold though, but it's beautiful. See, they're snorkeling already out there. Oh, that was cold. You what? Oh my god.
I can't touch here. It's too deep. I can't touch. There's no way I can touch. If you hold this, I can still open it back. It's beautiful here though. This is worth seven dollars each. Especially when it's this nice of a day. And we can probably eat here too. Yeah. Yeah, there's a couple places anyway. Yeah, by the port. I think you said 12 and 1 they were going back, so I should probably get to 12 o'clock now. Well, at least to back to the port, yeah, and we can spend time at the port. We just got back to the room and there was this little guy. I'm not sure what kind of creature it is, but it's cute. And we had this little uh, gift. It's a little $150 off coupon for a jewelry brand on board, so that's nice. But now we're just going to relax, maybe take a nap. We have the Disney Fantasy app to the left, and on the right side of the ship we have a Caribbean, Royal Caribbean uh, ship, but that's the beach we're on right over there. Seven Mile Beach, pretty nice. But we still got the vast ocean to look at, and it does look like it might rain soon. But we shall see. So let's get started. Can I get this dream sickle cake? <laughs> What's my Mardi Gras citrus with vanilla? So there's this chocolate with cherry. It looks good. Officially saying goodbye to Grand Cayman Island. It was fun. Very exhausting. You see that plane taking off maybe in the center there. Off to the left. But that's it for this adventure. First time there. Very fun. And after a little bit of rest, we'll probably go do some more activities tonight. A lot of people out on the ship today, down there. We're off onto the horizon, off to Honduras tomorrow. Got the juice and just froze it, we'll the same thing. <laughs> but cheaper. Well, friends, that's pretty much it for day three of the cruise. Cayman Islands were really great. Um, we'd never been there before, and we just spent that time at Royal Palm Beach. And I mean, it was. $5 each way for the taxi that we took and then $2 admission each for the 
admission to the actual hotel beach section, which was nice. And then you could get snorkel gear or jet skis or umbrellas or chairs. And we just decided to do the blankets and the towels that we had. Um, but the real problem with vlogging on the cruise, which I didn't expect, was all the noise. This is a very, very crowded cruise, and on other cruises I've been on, it wasn't as crowded. Like, I feel like I could get more quiet spots, but here it's a lot more crowded, so I'm just not sure how to deal with that. Um, I did get a little bit of sunburn today, just a little bit, um, so I have to put aloe on that. But we had a really great day, and we're excited to go to Honduras tomorrow, and I think... We don't have anything planned because uh, we were waiting on the weather. And other than that, I think that's pretty much, even my hand got sunburned. I have no idea how this happened, but more sunscreen tomorrow. Uh, but I did put on a lot today, so but my legs are good and everything. And I hope that all the footage came out well in this vlog. I have no idea. Uh, but we went to a bunch of stuff tonight. We went to the comedy club again. We went to see the country uh, rock show performance. That was fun. And then we also went to the piano bar, which was really fun. Um, if you guys haven't gone to a piano bar either in your city or something, you should definitely go. It was really fun. Um, but now we are cruising. I'm out on the balcony. And it's pure blackness out there. No stars, no nothing. Just black. But I'm going to shower and then get ready for bed. I'm just absolutely exhausted. And as you can tell, our stateroom's a mess. Um, mainly because we have a lot of space to spread out, so we spread out all of our stuff. Um, but so far, so good. And I don't know, I think I did show dinner, but we had just pizza um, because we didn't want to go to sit-down dinner. And what I've realized is a lot of the uh, items on the menu for the sit-down dinner are actually on the buffet for dinner as well. And um, so that's, that's odd, but we decided to just do something easier. So we go all the shows that we wanted to because our dinner is the late dinner, which we did not want, but we got stuck with. And it's kind of like you either eat really fast so that you can get to the next show or you'll have to miss the next show. Um, so that's a little bit annoying that it's planned out that way, but that's just how it is. So it's about 11 now, and tomorrow we have a late start, so we don't get docked until I think 10 or 10.30 is when we get off the ship for Honduras. And again, we don't have anything planned. And this part of Honduras is called Rotan, Rotan Bay, Rotan Isle, Mahogany Bay. It's got a lot of names, but this is uh, the cruise line sort of docking, like private docking station. So. Uh, should be pretty easy to get on and off and it should be there's supposed to be a beautiful beach like right next to the port so that should be fun to explore so I hope you guys are looking forward to tomorrow I'm going to put on some aloe because this it doesn't hurt as bad as it looks but it, like during the day it didn't feel bad but now it's like developing so it's gotten a little redder um, and I also did an umbrella method where I put an umbrella over me instead like I brought a little umbrella with me because um, sometimes I find that even if I reapply sunscreen, sometimes it's hard to gauge when the first set of sunscreen comes off and the second set of sunscreen starts working. Um, so it's really hard for me to do that, especially when you're in the water all the time. Uh, it's just hard to keep track of time, especially off the ship. Um, and I don't think we're changing times tomorrow. I think it's in Belize we change times, but there's a thing called ship time where you have to know what time your ship is on. And when you go off the ship, make sure nothing changes over. So I have an analog watch that I've had with me to keep track of that, but I'm hoping you can't hear all the party noises from downstairs. There's a pub down there that has outdoor games and there's stuff going on, but that's it for today. I hope you guys enjoyed. Again, I've been doing a lot of different types of vlogging. I have my GoPro, I have my Canon, and then I'm also using my new phone, um, which is interesting. It does great for some photos um, and then like extra lighting. So this does really well in darker settings, but I like my camera for, um, some other vlogging and then the GoPro was my first time using it so I hope it worked out uh we'll see but I hope you guys enjoyed today's vlog thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys next time bye